guys, I'm Stevie, and today we're going to talk about finger blasting. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so I already made a fingering video, but I'm remaking it because I'm smarter now. By the way, to me, smart means informed, and I'm now both smarter in terms of research and also smarter in terms of understanding the complexities of gender. And I will forever have more to learn, so this is like a little, oh my god, are my videos little time capsules of like how, of me being less informed forever? Does that mean that I will hate every single video I've ever made, always? The title, How to Finger a Girl, is 100% clickbait. You're welcome. I mean, I'm gonna teach you how to finger. It's just a gender social construct and all types of people have vulvas and vaginas and genitals that can be fingered. So this video isn't really about how to finger a girl because also not all girls have vaginas. It's just about how to finger any genital with the attributes of a vagina slash vulva, which have been a great title for the video, but doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Plus now some TERFs watch my videos and I want them to watch because I'd like to say straight to their face, fuck TERFs. Sponsored by Adam and Eve. Many of you sweet hoes might not know how I got into making these videos, but one of the reasons I got into making videos like this is because I was getting messages. Well, I got this one message from someone that asked me if you could get AIDS from fingering someone. And I was like, wow! <laughs> Which led me to learn so much about HIV because, oh my God, if you are HIV positive and undetectable, you can't even get HIV from someone that has HIV. How cool is that? Wow, modern medicine, am I right? Our education system sucks. You can't get AIDS from safe finger fucking. You really can't get AIDS from finger fucking, period. Anyway, here's a list of all the other questions I get on a regular basis. <coughs> How do you do it? Can it be unsafe? What do you do about nails? What about fingering buttholes? What do you do with your other hand? Is it supposed to hurt? If you get fingered, does that mean you lost your lesbian virginity? What's that ball in there? What's that ball in there? Also, Lesbian virginity, LOL. I think everybody needs to chill out. Every time someone says the phrase lesbian virginity an angel loses its wings, I don't believe in angels or God. Anyway, safe finger sex, let's talk about it. One, wash your fucking hands, don't be nasty. Seriously, it can cause a bacterial infection if you don't. Especially if you have long nails, dirt can get trapped under there along with some bacteria. And then when you finger someone, it gets inside their vagina hole. <gasps> also, if you have nail polish and there's chips, the nail polish chips can be left inside of the person's body. So like, don't finger fuck someone with chipping nail polish. If you don't wanna follow those rules, I obviously don't because I love a good nail. I love a good manicure. You know what I mean? You can use gloves. They make everything safer and they feel real soft and good and I'm gonna show you mine. Look, black ones are so sexy. Yay! <laughs> There's latex versions and non-latex versions. I use nitrile because I'm allergic to latex. Number two, a fluid exchange is exchanging of fluids. Wow, did I just fucking define something with the word? That's... So fluid exchanges are not limited to crotch juices. If you put your genital juice on someone's eyeball, that is a fluid exchange because you're taking your eyeball juices and you're swapping it with genital juices. If you touch yourself and get your wetness all over your hand and then you put that hand into somebody's mouth, that's a fluid exchange. If you spit on your hand and put your hand in someone's hole, that's a fluid exchange. The spread of STIs is made possible by, you guessed it, fluid exchanges. So you can use gloves and dental dams and condoms, by the way, Here's a condom. This one's latex, so I'm being bad right now. I, I'm gonna go wash my hand after this, but I didn't have a non-latex one, so I'm doing it for the gram. Did you know a condom can fit over an entire fist? Just be sure not to get your nail on it like this, cause it can pop it and like create little hole. Oh, it didn't pop it. Just don't do it. Oh, shit, I have to go wash my hand like right now. By the way, I am not against raw sex. I want y'all to have as much raw sex as you fucking want. An environment where everyone has been tested, where everyone can be honest about their results, and can have open communication before becoming fluid bonded. Aw, fluid bonded, that's such a cute term. I want a wife. So let's talk about different ways to finger. Something important to understand is that all hands are different and all hands are amazing. There is no such thing as fingers being too long or too short or too fat or too skinny or a too anything. All hands are great hands and you better believe, since this video is sponsored by Adam and Eve, I asked them to send me all of the hand toys. Like this one. If you want your hands to feel spiky or vibrate or be longer or bigger, or if you want to just add a finger that is then smaller, there's a toy for that. Look at this one. It makes your finger bigger. Hang on, one sec, BRB. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> and it makes it spiky and vibrating. Look at that. 
Also, this one, I don't even want to take out of the package because look at how beautiful it looks. It has diamonds on it! <clears throat> I got too excited. Also, there's so many options for different hand toys that are like the same, but slightly different. Oh, I'm a cancer, so my ideal house has like 10 different versions of the same thing, but they all do something slightly in a different way. You know what I mean? So that's why I need them all. Go buy everything. Use my coupon code Stevie at adamandeve.com to get 50% off one single item and free shipping to the US and Canada. Certain exclusions apply like the fuck machine. I still, years later guys, I still don't have a fuck machine and I want one so bad. Every time I get a new coupon code, I use it and it doesn't work and I'm very upset about it, but one day I'll be able to save up enough money to get a fuck machine. Anyway, it works on mostly everything else on the site. Like this one. <laughs> it's such a good color. Look at this mint color. So not only are all hands different, all genitals are different. Some people will want more fingers. Some people will want it really deep. Some people will want one small short finger. It's great if your hands fit perfectly with your sex partner's genitals, but if it doesn't, that literally means nothing about you or the person you're fucking. It's so weird when people are like, oh my God, we're meant to be because my two fingers fit perfectly in their vulva. And it's like, what the f Show me two genitals that look exactly the same and I'll show you a f you it's not possible. Another tip, do what feels good to your hand. Don't let your hand cramp up just because your partner's having a great time. Though sometimes I'm very guilty of doing also, you might notice that doing things that feel super good and super comfortable to your hand might also feel very good to the partner. Also, like, I'm disabled, so I'm not trying to hypermobile my ass just for just anyone. <laughs> I just used hypermobile as a verb. Get out. That's for, like, my 20 viewers that also have EDS. You're welcome. So, it's super helpful to have a toy take on some of the work for me. It's important to remember that f***ing is going to be so different every time you do it. And the more you can prioritize everyone's comfort and ability, the more likely you are to have really good sex. Here are some methods you might want to try. Vajarna, it's your time to shine. <laughs> okay, so this is the one called the G-Spot. Yay, have you guys heard of that one? I'm gonna show you how to stimulate the G-Spot. This one is the one that's gonna get you the greatest reaction. So basically, you're gonna wanna go in. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm fucked. What is my life? Basically, you're gonna go in with the back of your hand face down. So basically, you're gonna go in like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it looks like from this angle. So while you're inside, this is what it's gonna look like. So your finger's in and you're gonna want to say like, come here, come closer. So that is the G-spot come hither motion because the G-spot is basically behind the clit here. So you're gonna wanna go as deep as you can with your finger and then say come hither. And you can do this too, to where you keep it on the G-spot and kind of go like that. So you don't have to just move your finger, you can move your whole hand like this. All right, so next is the jackrabbit. This one you're gonna wanna hold on tight. From this angle, basically you can go this way or this way or sideways or whatever, whichever one is most comfortable. And you basically just wanna do this. On the inside, it's basically gonna look like this. Or like this. We need some lube in here. Who has the lube? Tactic number three is called the corkscrew. This one's gonna be like this. This side is gonna look like this. We lost the clit. Oh no, the clit's lost. And that has been the corkscrew. So this vagina is getting wrecked. We're just gonna, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this way you can basically just go all the way in and go side to side. So it's probably gonna be easier for you to do this way, or you could do it this way, depending on how your hand muscles are. There's workout equipment you can buy to strengthen your hands for lesbian sex if you want. I'll link those in the description. Basically like this. This feels super nice. The advanced version of this is to be doing a slow jackrabbit mixed with the in and out motion would look something like this. This is one of my personal favorite tricks and I call it pulsing. You can mix this with the, either the G spot or the side to side or anything basically. This is very advanced. You go in all the way up to your knuckles and you pulse and you're not really going in or out, so there's not a lot of friction on the vaginal opening. You can pulse with a G-spot stimulation too. And that is pulse. Just to let you know, you can also stimulate the clip while you're fingering. Just put your little thumb up there and just 
do this or this or you can do like this with your thumb or you can do like this just reach around with the other hand cool cool glad we're all learning so the ultimate question in fingering someone that i get is how do you know what they like i'll tell you how you fucking ask them they might already know exactly what they want and they'll be like two minutes of corkscrew some slow come hithers alternate between side to side and in and out and finish it off with some jackrabbit while i take care of clip simulation or they might have no idea in which case you get to do the super sexy thing and ask for consent every time you try a new thing i love consent does this feel good? Do you like that? Etc. Also, you can use this video to learn how to masturbate. You're welcome. Thanks so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring my video. You can use my coupon code Stevie to get 50% off almost any single item on adamandeve.com. The array is vast, people, so you should check it out. Click the link in the description and use my code. And if you want to get some of these in the mail, you can join my patron. Join my Patreon because I send boxes out to some of you guys. Thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.